Hello, Trevor. I'm coming to you by way of video. Man, I wish I could be there in person. But I'm coming to you to congratulate you on your graduation from Bridgewater State University. When I saw this uh, post on Facebook uh, the other day, I said, well done, good and faithful student. And you have done well to graduate with your bachelor's degree from a university is an honor. And to achieve what you achieved already in the military is an honor. And you have done well, my friend. And I say congratulations to you. Jan and I bring our blessings to you. Man, I wish we could be there in person. If I was, I'd give you a big high five. I'd give you a good handshake or maybe a big bear hug. And I really love you in the Lord and appreciate it. And say again, congratulations on this milestone in your life. It's a great achievement. Unfortunately, the classes of 2020, high school and college, are graduating in the midst of a pandemic. I guess someday that'll be something you could tell your children and grandchildren. I graduated in the year of COVID-19. I don't know if that's an honor or a blessing, but I feel badly that you won't get uh, the ceremony that you deserve. But really, your accolades are coming to you from people that you love, your mom and dad, and the college is conferring upon you this Bachelor of Science degree. So I say congratulations. I want to share uh, some time, uh, for a few minutes uh, some verses from uh, the book of uh, 2 Timothy. And you know as well as I do, you know the Word of God. Uh, Timothy was written by the Apostle Paul. Paul was an old man ready to, to depart his life on earth, writing to a young man named Timothy. Here I am, an old man, uh, speaking to a young man that's ready to commence his life in new and exciting ways. I'm a little bit jealous of the stature and the position in life that you're in, and I know you'll do well, and I know God's going to bless you. Uh, Paul said to Timothy, I thank God for you, and I could say the same thing. I thank God for you, and I know your mom and dad, they thank God even more for you, and I know many friends and families, they are thankful for the man that you are and the person you are. I thank God for you. Later on, as Paul continues to write, he said, night and day, I constantly remember you in my prayers, and I have prayed for you at times and appreciated you. I know your mom and dad have probably prayed every day for you since the day they laid eyes on you. And I know there are more friends and families and teachers and other people in, in your walk of life that have prayed for you. And I hope you appreciate them. And I hope you return the blessing and pray for them. You know, the Bible says if we honor our mother and father, that we will have a long life. That's a promise from God. And part of honoring them is praying for them. I pray that you will pray for others as others have prayed for you. Paul said, I remember your genuine faith, for you share the faith that first filled your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and I know the same faith continues in you. You have a Christian faith that was handed down to you from your mom and dad, just like uh, uh, Timothy got it from his elders, from his mother and grandfather, grandmother. You've gotten a faith from your mom and dad, and you've made that faith genuine. The Apostle Paul says, I know that faith is genuine in you. One day there came a time where the God that your parents know became your God, and the faith that your parents uh, uh, believe in became your faith. And Paul says to Timothy, I tell you to fan the flames of the spiritual gift and your faith that you have. And he says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power and love and self-discipline. Never be ashamed to tell others about our Lord. And you shouldn't be ashamed ever to live the Christian life, to let your light so shine that everybody that knows you knows that you are a Christian. Fan the faith that's in you, and God will carry you to great places. Later on, he says, be strong through the grace that God gives you. If there's one thing that young people in 2020 are going to have to be in the years to come, if Jesus tarries, is they are going to have to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You're going to face things that my generation never dreamed of. You're going to encounter things that my generation would think would be part of science fiction. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might and never be afraid to work hard and to suffer. At one point, Paul says to Timothy, work hard so you can present yourself to God and receive his approval. I know you're a person that's not afraid to work hard. I know it because you've achieved some things through hard work 
And I know you're not a person that's not afraid to, to suffer a little bit. You suffered when you went to your boot camp and uh, you know what it's like to suffer. You'll probably endure more suffering as you go forward, especially if you live contrary to your culture. We're living in an anti-God, anti-Christian culture. If you live for Jesus and shine for Jesus, the world will come against you. You don't have to have fear and a spirit of timidity, as Paul said to Timothy. You can live boldly in the, in the, the faith that you have, and you can live strong in the power of God's might. He says to, to, to Timothy, you must remain faithful to the things you have been taught. You know they are true, for you know you can trust those who taught you. And you can trust those who taught you the Holy Scriptures. Paul says, you have been taught the Holy Scriptures scriptures from childhood, and they have given you the wisdom to receive the salvation that comes by trusting in Christ. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses the scriptures to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. And you're living in a day and age, Trevor, when people will criticize and demean and disrespect and uh, re refute the word of God, don't let them get into your heart and mind. The Bible, the word of God will carry you. The word of God will be your foundation and the love that you need to have for Jesus will shine forth and people will know you are one of his children by your love for others. Seek the approval of God and seek to better others that you encounter and seek to be a man that loves God with all of his heart, all of his mind, all of his soul. That is the greatest commandment. And then seek to be a man, whether you're in the ministry or you're in the military or you're in business or you're in politics, seek to be a man that would love others and seek the betterment of others. And God will bless you in ways that you can never even imagine. The Bible promises this, that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think. Ask God for big things. Think and dream big dreams. And go out into the world and seek to make an impact on this world. God may use you, Trevor, in ways that would impact a neighborhood. He may use you in ways that would impact a community. He may use you in ways that would impact a state. He may use you in ways that would impact a region of our country. And he may use you in ways that would impact this nation. And yes, dream big and think God could use you to impact this world for Jesus Christ and leave it a better place than when you arrived. You are commencing a great and grand and bold adventure. Go for it with all your heart and seek the heart of God and be like David, a man after God's own heart. I congratulate you again and I pray for you and love you in the Lord and I thank God for you. Father, bless this young man. Give him the dreams of his heart. Help him to dream big and to think big, knowing that you are a big God that can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask or think. Guide him, guard him, direct him, help him to seek you in all your ways, in all his ways, and you will give him a heart like David, a heart after God's own heart. We thank you and praise you. We thank you for his mom and dad, and we thank you for their family, and we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Congratulations again. God bless you. Go forth and shine for Jesus.